just heard Dr. Disrespect's newest tweet, which was a song that he just put out. I wish he would have put out the whole thing because it was awesome and I want to listen to it. I'm not even playing. Uh, to update you on the band, not only did he put this out on Twitter, but then he did an interview with PC Gamer and it gives us so many details about what happened. Let's start there. But listen, you're not going to find out the reason to the band. I'm just letting you know. Interview. Dr. Disrespect talks about his Twitch ban, the rumors, and his future. A weak silence. Guy, Dis Dr. Disrespect Beam, discusses his Twitch ban and what's next. Three weeks ago, Twitch banned Doc, one of the biggest streamers on the platform. The period of silence that followed his ban from Doc, Twitch staff, and the insiders who claim to know the real reason only made him more strange. And in the vacuum of info, speculation and theories to why uh, have run rampant on social media. I'm going to skip this. This is what they asked Doc. This is what he said then we'll talk about it it's almost been three weeks since you were banned from twitch i imagine that it's been very frustrating i would love to start with just hearing what's happening behind the scenes with you what's been going on the past three weeks doc says sure i mean while it's unfortunate i'm off twitch we're definitely working behind the scenes on what a doc return might look like in terms of specifics we're not interested in exclusive at this point we're exploring our options and honestly just can't wait to get back into character we have a lot to do and i'll be wherever the fans want me to be and you know that's been our approach they come back with when you say you're not interested in an exclusive can you clarify doc responds well let's just say all the cards are on the table i'm more focused on making sure whatever we do next whether it's a platform move or not that it's the right decision for the community and the champions club that follows me and that it makes sense to what i want to continue to accomplish with this character in terms of taking things to the next level and whether it's streaming or outside of streaming it's just being conscientious of that decision but later doc or beam clarified and sent an email and said that he's even considering streaming independently on his champions club dot gg website in addition to big options like youtube and facebook given the connection you have with your audience and how important that is i'm sure you can appreciate that there's been a lot of concern and worry over the past few weeks why didn't you give people an update just to say hi even if you had nothing concrete to say now doc actually gives a reason for that here he says well to be honest completely it was a total shock imagine going to work one day and the door is closed you can't get inside and you've been told that you were fired and you we were, were not given a reason why. And so for me, it was an initial shock. So we know now that Doc actually just was banned right out. Then he says, the way that I discovered it was on a buddy's stream. So he's watching a buddy's stream. Some of the features started to turn off while I was in the chat and everything. All of a sudden, social media blew up. I got a call with my team, and after a quick email, I was all over. At that moment, it was more of just a kind of shock, like, what just happened, you know? And both my wife and I are just like, what's going on? And that's kind of how initially things went down. From there, you just sort of digesting it. You're still not getting any answers. That's kind of why I had. I wouldn't have known what to say, you know? We put out one tweet, our statement, and that's kind of where things are at. Now, this kind of goes weird against what happened on his last stream remember we broke it down with you though i will say that stream is just basically how doc normally acts though they elaborate here take a look i understand that you have a lot of business arrangements to consider like a tv show with skybound i imagine it's scary to be in this position where your main platform is for being yanked out underneath you yeah i mean obviously there's a lot of stuff that's in terms of the thinking like yeah that's all going through your mind for me it was pretty tough to just i had to get off social media i mean just to see all the speculation and theories so doc watched them Doc watched the speculation and theories. Things that my name has been surrounded with, we know what that implies, right? And it was just heartbreaking to see a certain extent because we've worked so hard to get to this point. But you know, we're ready to go. We're excited to take the next steps. And I'm focused on the community for now. We've got lots of stuff, fun stuff planned, lots of projects that are in the works, and yeah, continue on, baby. Then they ask him, Twitch has just cut off contact with you? They never provided a reason for the ban? And he says, yes, he's agreeing. He's saying that that is the case. Twitch didn't even tell him why. Twitch didn't tell him why. Now, I want to make an observation. This slasher dude and the other people that came out and said they knew why Doc was banned, how is that true then? If it's that tight-lipped, how did they find out anything? I don't really believe that. I really am starting now after this, at this point of reading this, and I've only had like pieces of this given to me up to now, but at this point of reading this, I, lit I just think that they cut him because of the comments he made about David Icke 
and those other people, but we'll keep going here so you can make up your mind. They say, that seems crazy to me to ban one of the most famous popular streamers than to not even tell them what they did wrong? Doc says, yeah, that's the kind of mind-blowing thing about all of this. Obviously, for legal counsel, I have to be careful here, but I can say, however, I will not be returning to Twitch. So, I mean, that's it. Doc, I don't think you're going to watch this, but I'm so glad to hear that. If they can do this to you, they can do it to anybody. You don't need this, dude. You need to find a different platform. Everybody should just boycott Twitch at this point. Then they come back. Sure, I'm not a famous streamer, but if I was and I got banned for no reason, especially considering the Dr. Disrespect character and who he is, I think my response would be to get out on social media and shout from the rooftops and be like, hey, this is unfair. I'm curious to why you haven't done that. This is why I'm glad he caught, got a hold of PC Gamer, not Kotaku and not some other place because they'll ask these questions. Doc says, well, I mean, I'm trying to take the best and appropriate steps as possible and there are things behind the scenes in terms of from a legal standpoint, you know, I can't. That's where it's at. And so I don't want to go on social media and say the wrong thing or the right thing or whatever it is. And like we made our statement and that's, you know, that's where things are at now. As we build a game plan to make the doc come back, that's still kind of in the works in terms of what the vision looks like. I'm working with my creative team, the graphics going and talking like the whole doc 3.0 experience to the next level taking i'm sorry so that's where my focus is now and i'm happy to hear that you don't have to be destroyed because twitch got rid of you get bigger do what ninja did go to youtube blow it up and then they say so are you able to confirm that legal action is taking place? You are taking legal action against Twitch. He comes back and says, we are considering legal action. When do you think you might, if ever, have a definitive answer to the reason why you were banned? Doc says, honestly, we just don't know. Doc is a very controversial character. I don't need to tell you that. It's almost baked into what he is as a person. Do you think that Twitch singled you out because maybe it felt like you were just too controversial? Doc says, I don't know. You know, I've been very transparent with those around me and my community over the years. Not a perfect person. I've made mistakes. But if anybody knows me, follows me, I've stepped up and I've taken full responsibility each and every time. And behind the scenes, behind the curtains, a lot of people don't understand how much work I've put into becoming a better person for myself and my family, as well as the business. I'm committed to investing in, being, and continuing to be a better person and investing in creative projects around the dock. My focus now is just continuing the momentum and return to my chair, hanging out with the Champions Club, and launching a a couple fun creative experiences. Sure, and I want to talk about that, but first, you did recently ruffle a few feathers after sharing a video during a stream of Dr. Thomas and, I'm not going to say his last name, and he was talking about some, you know, theories. You've been open recently in sharing some of your own thoughts about this stuff and even relating it to things like these things. Even on your last stream, you were talking about this guy and his documentary. I'm curious in bringing up those thoughts, and I think it's okay to call them controversial. Did that ever result in Twitch saying anything to warn you? And he says, no. So he's basically asking about my theory, and he says Twitch didn't even warn him, which is insanity. Why, why wouldn't they? Legal reasons? And if, I mean, if that is why they did this, and you really think Twitch didn't care about that? You know how Twitch is. Oh, it gets creepy. So you don't think that might be the cause? And he says, I don't think so. In fact, I, and then he gets interrupted by his publicist. So he says, I don't think so. In fact, and then his publicist bu breaches in. We're getting really close to danger territory here so you know doc we don't know why twitch banned him and there's no formal warnings or reprimand on record that's all legal is gonna say uh, let, let him say this is massive okay this is the massive part of this this publicist butting in here there's a reason remember they asked him about all of the conspiratorial stuff that doc talked about doc responds and says a straight no it's almost like he knows if, if they ask you about that just say no then they say you don't think it might be the cause i don't think so in fact and they get and he gets stopped this is the biggest clue in my opinion this this means in my opinion that that's what it is this is it there's it's something to do with this or the publicist would have never butted in you can call me crazy if you want but i'm just giving you my opinion I have one question that's semi-related. There's also a current climate online of people coming forward to share stories of you-know-what and you-know-what in the games industry. Twitch recently banned several streamers who have been outed as you-know-what, you-know-what, and otherwise toxic individuals. To your knowledge, is your Twitch ban the result of somebody alleging that you did any of this? He says, listen, I'm not interested in engaging in crazy speculation. I've seen all the theories. I've seen all the possible conspiracies, and it's just like I'm not interested in engaging in that type of stuff. Got a great community of loyal fans, and I'm totally focused on getting back and delivering great 
entertaining content and that's where the focus is. I don't think this is that crazy, honestly. A lot of people may focus on this part of this question and, and the answer for it, but I'm just gonna tell you, I don't think this is that bad. I don't think this means really much of anything. Kind of just throws it out like crazy speculation and that, that is what it is, honestly. Um, I feel comfortable with that answer. You may not, but I just, that's how I feel. Let's switch gears. I'm uh, Then let's talk about the reboot. What can you tell me about what you're gonna do right now? He says, oh man, you're gonna have to tune in and find out part of the fun. Think it's one of Doc's is doing cool projects. I'm not going to go on, but that's just basically, yo, I'm going to keep blowing up. Then they say, I can see why it would be exciting, especially for your fans, because there have been those controversies you've gone through. They've always seemed to lead to a big evolution of who Doc is. You keep saying 3.0. Is it going to feel like a new and reimagined Doc? I don't want to go into the details, but when you start looking at potential projects out of the streaming space, blah, 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 it's almost like a Marvel Cinematic Universe. That'd be the goal. That'd be the goal, says Doc. Well, it felt always a very avant-garde that you created the idea of playing essentially a WWE villain on a streaming platform. Felt very novel. I can imagine it's exciting to see the idea take shape and grow bigger. He basically says, yep, it's exciting. Excited for the future. Then he says, definitely, there was one thing I wanted to talk about to set the record straight. That's the final moments of your last stream on Twitch. Now, this is important in my opinion, so take a listen to what happens here. People really latched on and analyzed those few minutes of you signing off because it seemed out of character. You're watching these. I just disagree. I think it was completely Doc's character. You're watching these clips, then all of a sudden, well, I agree there, the whole Roblox thing, and you're able to tell me what happened. He asks him, what happens in the last final minutes of the stream? Doc says this. All right, I've seen all the types of theories and speculation out there, and it's gut wrenching and disheartening but in terms of the particular piece i could speak directly to like that was just i was just in a moment where i was sort of taking in what was going on in the world you know if people had context of that clip going into it and then coming out of it like all i was talking about was just the state of the world that we were dealing with dealing with the protest and the thing and everything that was happening it was just like man in the particular moment i think i was just kind of going through you know like when can we break this funk of 2020 it was just me being real on stream and that's pretty much the context so that whole last chunk is just him being Doc, according to Doc. I don't know if you buy it. I don't know if I buy it, but I think the Doc hammed it up because he knew something was coming, but that's why I think that's why his wife came in. That's all. That's the only place I'll go. It's pretty normal for you to break character like that during your streams. And Doc says, yeah, I would say so. It is actually. Uh, it's a personal story with like I could be related to my daughter, sports growing up. Sometimes I step out of the fictional world of the Doc. So I could tell more of a human-sided story or a personal story. Then I go right back into character. Every once in a while, I'll do that. He does do that if you watch him. Everybody was watching the clip being like, this is the moment he found out. But you're saying it was completely unrelated. I'm sure you can appreciate how suspicious that looked in hindsight. Having this final clip of your final moment on Twitch captured like that. He says, yeah, it's interesting timing. So Doc is saying it's coincidental. Isn't that psycho? Doc says, uh, they asked Doc, you said earlier that you're not interested in an exclusive deal, but there's a specific platform you're looking to migrate into the near future. He says, oh, no, we're just focused on the Doc's return. Haven't made any decisions on platforms. Not interested in looking for any exclusivity or any type of that stuff. All the cards are on the table. Then they come back. I'm interested because your streaming career is a lot of up and downs, maybe more than any streamer I can think of. Part of that feels very on brand for Doc as a character to get himself through these tough situations and persevere. How does that all affect you personally? Doc says, now this is this is a, a really real moment in my opinion from the Doc. He says it absolutely affects him. They certainly affect me on a personal level. I've been challenged with anxiety for the past high levels of anxiety I've never experienced in my life. Past couple weeks simply because it's like, what is going on? you know like what happened yeah it's uh, absolutely i mean of course they affect me part of the thing about being somebody in my position is just kind of knowing that and knowing how to deal with them in a real authentic way making myself become knowledgeable of why i made the mistake then bettering myself from that that's exactly what i've done with each sort of instance that has occurred not just as the doc but my whole life you know i do think doc plays a really real character honestly so anyway then they come back you were talking about how hurtful it's been seeing social media speculation this must be a challenge because you're a public figure and you have a connection with an audience then doc says it's an easy answer i walk right from the studio right into my house i look at my family my wife my daughter and the people i'm surrounded with the team i'm surrounded with and in terms of that part we're in such a good position such a good state in life i feel so good about that that's what's most important i think doc's just responding and saying hey i got my family so all that other stuff melts away when i see him so he says once you step out of the studio you just sort of flip a switch he says to a certain degree on the facet of this story that i'm sure you're aware 
people are coming forward saying they know the reason you're banned. Example, Rod Slasher was on a stream yesterday saying he knows you were banned, but he doesn't want to say because he fears it could make him a target of defamation lawsuit. What do you make of that? Doc says, listen to what Doc says about Slasher. Listen, again, I'm not interested in engaging in any of that stuff or crazy speculation. All I'll say it again, I got a great community, loyal fans, getting back to the Champions Club, delivering great content. Then he says, okay, but if you made any attempt to understand what he's talking about, like if somebody had dirt on me, even if I knew it was BS, I would at least want to know what they thought they knew. Have you tried to contact him or his affiliated parties? Doc says no. Now, at that point of the interview, Beam was up. We said our goodbyes. Though we know more about specifics regarding Beam's ban and his plans for the future, the biggest questions about what happened and why remain unanswered. We'll continue chasing this story as developments arise. It was Steven Messner, just to shout out the dude. He's got his Twitter here if you want to go find it. But hey, just whatevs. Though, I think it was a good interview. Honestly, imagine if it would have gotten the hands of Kotaku or some other, like CNN or something, for God's sake. I'm really glad that PC Gamer got it. No, I'm not saying anything good about PC Gamer. I don't know if they, I don't know. I, I mean, maybe they're good, maybe they're not. Don't ask me but when it comes to the doc i wanted to update you i wanted to give you a full thing about this because i think it's one of the craziest stories of 2020 it'd be like one of the biggest youtubers just bye bye no reason at all and then you just have to speculate on these tiny little things. To me, what's my best guess now? He's answered everything. It's no exclusivity deal. He might stream on his own website. He doesn't know where he's going. It, that just smashes so many of the theories. So what do I think? I think Twitch. I still think Doc might have wanted to leave Twitch because he felt like he was being held down by Twitch. But either way, I think he brought up those specific theories that he brought up. Broke his contract. Whether he wanted to do it or not, I think he did. And I maybe he was testing Twitch. Maybe he felt like look if I can't talk about what I want I'm not staying here on Twitch because they'll just cut me off later and maybe Doc felt like it was the best move in his career I don't know but I do know this really narrows down what happened though there will be one big question after this and I want to try to get off here and I'm sorry but people are going to say do you think Doc was honest in the interview and I do think other than that one place where he got interrupted that's the clue you want to figure it out start there I'm Unirock this is the channel Rock a Lot I upload gaming content here and I have commentary content on Unirock too if you want to like, subscribe, share, whatever, you don't have to. I just appreciate you sticking around and watching. And leave me your comment down below, even if you're going to leave and not, not sub or anything. Leave me what you think. Uni Rock, out. See you next time. It's out of my